Please like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, so I'm gonna try to apply these magnetic eyelashes for the first time. It's 6.30 in the morning, I just woke up, so let's see how this goes. So there's a bunch of different sizes. Um, I have to go to work this morning, so I think I'm gonna maybe try these ones so it's not so crazy looking. Okay, so you apply the magnetic eyeliner and then the eyelashes will just stick to it, hopefully. Oh, it's kind of sticking. Okay, no, it's not sticking. Ow. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. I need to reapply this. And it just took off half the eyeliner. Okay, that kind of hurt. Okay, so that was a fail at my first attempt at trying to apply the magnetic eyelashes. Um, I don't have time to reapply them this morning. I have to get to work, so I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Okay, so this is gonna be attempt number two at trying the magnetic lashes with the liquid liner. Uh, first time didn't go so good, so I thought maybe I would watch a video to get some tips and tricks before I gave up on them completely. Okay, so here we go again. I think I'm gonna start with this one on the top here, the biggest ones, and see how that looks. It smells kind of funny. It smells like metal. Okay, I have both eyes done now and it's time to put on the lashes. Now, one of the videos I was watching, they said to put a little mascara on while the eyeliner is drying, just to kind of help them blend in with the false lashes. So I have this little tool here to help me grab the lashes. Come off pretty easy. Okay, it's gonna be hard to do this on camera, so bear with me. Okay, so I just took off half of the eyeliner that I put on in the corner, somehow. Okay, so I've put this one on here, and you can kind of tell the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one on now. Okay, I have both of them on now, and I love them. They're super dramatic. They're a little heavy, they feel like mini torture devices on my eyes, but hopefully I will get used to them. I'm really glad that I got these. I've never been able to place false eyelashes on before, so these are a huge help. I'm gonna try to wear these all day and see if they hold up, and I'll let you know. So it's 10.30 at night, I'm about to take my makeup off, and I put these on at 9.30 this morning. I did a ton of stuff around the house. I did the laundry, I unloaded a hot steaming dishwasher, I cooked dinner, and still these held on. My mission was to go for a bike ride so I could really get a good wind test, but it started to rain, so I just ended up doing it with a fan. And still they held up. So let's take these off and see how hard it is. Oh. 
Oh, these are really stuck on good. It comes off pretty easy. And it takes off some of the eyeliner with it. So if you do make a mistake and have to like reapply them, you have to like reapply the whole eyeliner, unfortunately. I'm just using a regular makeup remover. It's stuck on pretty good. I think it's a bit of a scrub. It almost comes off in like little chunks. It's a little difficult to get off. I think I need a better makeup remover. Okay, it's all off and it was a bitch to remove the eyeliner. The eyelashes were easy to remove, but the eyeliner was in like chunks that were like stuck to my eyelash, which in a sense is good because it makes the eyelashes stay there, except when you want to remove it. There's a little bit of the eyeliner residue on the magnet, so I'll have to clean those off before the next time I use them but they fit perfectly right back where they came from. The one benefit with wearing the fake eyelashes is that I find when I wear mascara, I'm picking this guy's hair out of my eyelashes all day long. With the fake eyelashes on, I didn't have any fur in my eyeballs. Okay, quick update after over a week of wearing these and trying to practice with them. A couple tips I have. Do not get it on your eyelashes. It is a bitch to get off, so try to avoid that as much as possible. Next, do not put it over top of any of your other type of liquid liner because it will just kind of peel off a little bit, so there's no point in that. So for myself, I did find that I needed to cut them a little bit. Every time I was blinking, it was getting into the corner of my eye and my eye was tearing up. After I cut them, it was a lot more comfortable. Please like and subscribe and I would love to hear any comments if you have any tips or tricks for me on these eyelashes. Thanks for watching.